Hey, we're looking at what contributions women are making to the effort to protect America and defend her principles around the world. Women are serving in all specialties, at all pay grades, and in all commands, having been integrated into all combat positions just six years ago. I'm joined now live by U.S. Army Reserve Lieutenant Colonel Lisa Jaster. Welcome to Fox 40 News at 11. Thanks for having me. First, thank you, thank you for your service. And I have to ask, why way back did you choose the Army? I actually read a book. Um, it was written by Carol Barkala, who is one of the first women to ever graduate from West Point. And when I read it, I thought, man, this sounds really hard and I wanna challenge myself. So that was kind of the seed that was planted to not only join the army, but go to the United States Military Academy. Wow, now you were commissioned as an active duty engineer. You deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Joining the American military is always about joining an elite group, the skill of which has been respected the world over, but you chose to take that one step beyond and dedicate yourself to becoming an Army Ranger, part of the first integrated Ranger course, and just the third woman to graduate from that course in 2015. What was the hardest part of that experience for you and most likely running into some fellow service members who didn't think that as a woman that maybe you should be alongside them there? And, and that's exactly the hardest part, was really helping people understand that I deserved the spot and that I earned the spot and that I wasn't stealing it from anybody else. And doing that in such a way where people could hear what I had to say, the easiest way is to get defensive and tell people or yell at people or get angry and fight and say, hey, I earned this, I deserved it. But people can't hear you when you just yell at them and tell them that you deserved something. So I had to show them and stay calm as I endured some some pretty heavy resistance for being a female at a school that had been all male for 65 years. And when you say pretty heavy resistance, you're talking about like bullying in the ranks? It was nothing so overt. Um, my husband received a phone call, a very negative phone call. There's a lot of internet warriors that were angry. And then there were some people who would just literally say, hey, I'm not gonna let one of you be one of us. Mm. but. I never felt bullied, but I okay. definitely felt pressured. Well, obviously that didn't work because you did graduate from Ranger School. Well, women are 17% of this country's active duty military and about 21% of the reserve forces nationwide. Why do you think that reserve part of our military is so important to the overall mission? The reserve part is huge because strategically, should we go to war again, should there be another big event, that's how we flex our forces quickly. Um, it's also a great place for people like me who enjoy our civilian careers. We enjoy um, being able to live where we want to live, but we still have that strong call to service. You have a book coming out in January called Delete the Adjective. It's all about not limiting yourself to labels like middle-aged or female. How do you get people to break out of mindsets that do focus on the little boxes that we get dropped in that are so pervasive in our society? It really is exactly where we started this conversation is you have to show the people one person at a time. And although sometimes it kills me, I have to stay calm and just work out next to that guy who doesn't believe that I deserve to be there or go to the range and shoot next to the guy who doesn't necessarily think that women need to know how to fire a gun. It's, it's a very long, slow process, but the way to truly delete the adjective is to take your time and introduce someone like me to someone who's not a believer. All righty, if you just had something quick to say to a teen girl out there who's maybe thinking about this, we're running out of time, but what would you say to her? No matter what you wanna be, no matter what you wanna do, be all in. For me, it was shave my head and go to ranger school. For you, it might be something else. But if you really want it, be all in, be dedicated. All righty, and we are all in wishing you a happy Veterans Day and thanking you again for your service and your sacrifice. We appreciate you visiting with us today. Thank you.